Hello everybody, nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. We are back today with another part of Zada the Minish Cap. Let's get right into it. We must find the elemental sanctuary to fill the sword with the elemental power. I'd never have looked for the elemental sanctuary in Hyrule Cars though. You know how to get there, right? Let's go! Okay! We have right away we got our new new goal. Um, we don't have to search much. Because <laughs> I still know of course where Hyrule Castle is. Last episode we got the fire element from the Tortive boss in a really tight fight <laughs> of life and death. Here is the castle. Okay. Let's see. Are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear to form occasions. Yes, you look splendid, Eslo. Oh, Lee, you have returned. Welcome. Did you gather the elements? What? A sanctuary, you say? Why? I've heard of no such thing in my castle. Why? Well, then, at least a few skin stones with me. You want a few skin stones in this dire time? Well, I can see no harm in it. Ah yes, we have one. Great. The two kin <laughs> the two kinstones pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. I hope something good will happen. Oh. Wowie. Oh. Ah yeah, we can go there. <laughs> Next to this, here in the tree area, somewhere there, there's also something we can check out. Ah, a perfect fit. My, but that's nice. Good luck to you. Okay. Hmm, a sanctuary. You know, I do recall a story my grandmother once told me long ago. She said she saw a doorway appear in the palace courtyard as a child. If this door does indeed open only once a century, it may be open even now. As with the piggery themselves, the door is visible only to the eyes of a child. We might have walked past it recently and never even know it was there. Oh, that makes sense why the king doesn't know of it. You want a few skin stones? Sure, why not? Ah, uh, yes. We do have one. Nice. The two kids sounds pieces work perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Wait, another chest. Great. Okay, in the in the forest. They fit perfectly. I didn't expect that. Maybe something good will happen now. Well, I hope there's something great in there. Even turned to stone by Fatih's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Harry, save her. Is Link thinking that to himself? I wonder. Oh, what's here? Oh, the castle is quite big actually. <laughs> I just get up here. That's lame. What's here? Nothing, okay. Hmm. Can you please let me go through? Sorry, but I can't let you pass. We've sealed the area off because of Varty. 
Yeah, but Vati is not here right now. You see? Let me go through, please. I need to check something out. Sorry, but I can't let you pass. Okay. But how are we going to get in there then? Okay. Hmm. Let's look a bit more in the castle. Maybe there's a secret, secret entrance that we can use. There was a door here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Lee, look! See how that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems able to see it but you and me. Let's go. Quickly. Yeah, let's let's go. Elemental Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Yeah. <laughs> Correctly. <laughs> Oi. Oh, that's a beautiful song. So this is the Elemental Sanctuary then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. Oh wow, it's like the Master Sword. Just that it's not the Master Sword. What happens now with the blade of my grandpa actually? The powers of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Ooh. Mm hmm. Let's see if I can read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm. Perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Lee. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. That's cool. But I still wonder what's happening to my grandpa's sword now. It's a bit sad that it just gets replaced by the cool legendary sword. Don't you think so too? <laughs> you put so much effort in it. And now you just toss it aside. Because you have this new cool legendary sword of legends. What's here? Oi. Okay, a closed door. Um, hmm, what can we do now though? Well, as Lua will surely tell us. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh no, that laugh. Interesting. You're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Oh boy. Vati. And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created the cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A head that grants the wishes of this its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept the small gesture of gratitude from me. What is he doing? Oh, wait, Fatty, wait! 
Oh, bye. Shit present, Fati. Shit present. But too easy for me. That foul Fati. What could he be sh scheming now? Lee, I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Fati and I are both Minish. Oh, was? I once w I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Fati was only a boy when I took him, him on as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day Vati took a head I made for the humans. My pride and joy. It granted the wishes, wishes of its bearer. He put it on without permission. Vati, what are you doing there? Oh boy. Why are they the same size still though? That's strange. Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile. I'm a sorcerer now. And my power is beyond compare. No longer will I tie away as your apprentice. No, all shall call me master. Why, Fadi? What are you plotting? This year on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed. Perfect. And there will be none who can stop me. Ah, Vati. Oh no. Ah! Why does he have a beak now? That's very strange. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel my sorcerer's curse? Do you see, Eslo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. Oh, wow. He just... He just went off. You know the legends, of course. The gifts the Pikuri gave the humans. What you call the Picori blade was the first of those gifts. The second? Well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Fati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of man, hoping to stop Fati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me any time soon. However, with the sacred blade, we can certainly raise to our Princess Zelda. I'm sorry, all that has happened has been due to my own pride, my folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vati. Well, Lee, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. Okay. No, don't worry, as low we got this. We. We got this. But um, I wonder now actually, the holy light, is it the Triforce? Is this actually in the same timeline? Or in the same dimension? Or is it a totally different dimension we are talking about here? Um, we can actually check out some stuff now. I can remember something really cool and you can turn this pot around and now we can shrink and we can explore the town a bit further Bowie. how did the that's right even some human objects are ported to the minish world those minish may not look like much but they are quite crafty Wow. Let's go up here first. And here are Minish as well. What a nice mouth. Oi. It's fused with me. You want to fuse skin stones? Let's give it a try. Oh no, we don't have that one anymore. Oh, you want to crit? We can always try later, I guess. 
I like those red hats the forest minis wear. I like these blue hats the town minis wear. Well, just exchange your hats then. The forest minis have come for a visit. I knew the city life would be exciting. Oh, you can actually see the bar from up here. That's so cool. Let's fuse. You want to fuse skin stones? Let's let's give it a try. Oh no! Another one we don't have. Everyone here is so refined. What do you mean with that? I don't understand. <laughs> and we can now go to the other store. Oh no. It doesn't clean. Door owner doesn't clean very well. Oh, you got them mysterious shards. Is there more here? Oh, we can go down now. Hello? Is anyone back there? No? Ah, well, I guess not. How odd. Well, we just spook him now a bit. <laughs> Boo! Oh. Hey God! I knew there was someone here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. Well... Oh. Ah yes, yes, welcome, welcome. Please feel free to browse. Hmm, that's quite strange though. That there's nothing to do here. Okay, let's go back and let's take the exit down here. Let's see what's going to wait for us there. And we can now go on the other side, I think. Yes. That is great. Oh, we can we can look in here. Let's let's see. Ah. There the um Carpenters, right? They're called carpenters, I think. The boss might seem rough, but he's a real softy at heart. And that's that nice. Those are the best people. But also the soft, soft people. Oui. Hey, do you know the clues that reveal the location of the treasure? Cross the bridge that spans the rapid flow, through the land of the fearsome beast, until you reach the misty falls. The treasure sleeps on the other side of the secret entrance there. They say it's a magical tool that allows even little people to push big things. According to the legend, you're supposed to start from this house. Oi, a little treasure hunter. Exciting. Let's check it out, huh? Oh. oh, sorry. Am I in your way? I just wanted a little attention. Anyway, it was nice of you to say hi. Sorry for the trouble. I move now. Oh, you're so cute, little doggo. Let's fuse skin stones, okay? Alf, 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 alf. You want to fuse skin stones? Alf, alf. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, this one. The two skin stones pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Oh yeah, that's on the way to the castle. Af, a perfect fit, Af. Oh wow, he just jumped over the dog. That's badass. But he could have hurt the dog with that, that's not okay. <laughs> he could have stepped on us, oh no. <laughs> Let's see. I'm so busy, so busy. Gotta finish here so I can go repair the steps next. That's what you said at the start already. Listen up, you. I'm a skilled carpenter and I'm looking for a challenge. Okay. There have been a lot of creatures on the rampage lately. 
As a result, we are in a bit of a rush to get things repaired around here. Oh, I'm busy, kid. The boss always makes sure we've got our noses to the old grindstone. You're doing a great job, Carpenters. I really appreciate it. I'm really quite good at tracking down rare figurines. Okay. Thanks. For, for telling me. <laughs> What's in here? We oui. <gasps> The best aspect of this game, yeah? Not the kinstones, not the bosses, not the music, not the pixel art. No, this. This is Gacha. The best thing in this game. I collect those mysterious shards you've seen scattered all over the place. If you bring those shards to me, I trade you these fig figurines I have made. Ah, is that a mysterious shell? Hmm, I've got an offer. I'd like to make you. What do you say to trading it for a chance at winning a figurine? <gasps> yes! How many shards would you like to use on this drawing? The more shards you use, the more likely you are to win a figurine you don't have. Okay, we just use one right now. Of course, we get 100% a figurine we don't have yet. <laughs> You're going to trade one of them? Great. Now just put the lever on the figure, figure dispensing machine over there. Okay. Let's see what we get. Uh, spike beetle. Appears in dungeons, covered in hearts, spiny shards. Few attacks work on them. You have to flip them over to hurt them. Well, we already know that. Thank you very much. What spike beetle? They are beetle. I thought they were tortoises. Congratulations! I keep the figurine in the case on the left for you. You can see it anytime. Okay, let's let's do it again. Want to try another drawing? Yes. How many shots would you like to use in this drawing? The more shots you use, yes, yes, we don't. Um, there's still not much. We we can still just use one shell. Let's see. It's another green egg. Ooh, a chaser. Appears in dungeons. They move quickly to chase you once they spot you. Your shield will block them, but keep on your toes. Okay. But keep on your... Okay. <gasps> Wowie! <laughs> Congratulations! I keep the figurine in the case. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, I will... One episode, I'm just going to do the gacha. <laughs> yes, I think that's going to be a great episode. Okay, a bit of money is always great. Let's see what's in here. What is all of this? I'm busy, don't you see that? Do not disturb my research. If you have no business, be gone, you hear me? Oh, wow. That was mean. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, what are we going to do next though? We can shrink again. Maybe we can move the shelf in here, but I don't think so. Yeah, no, that's not working. Okay, that's too bad. Wait, what? Oh, what? Uh, we, we have to move this shelf first. No, it doesn't work. That's very sad. I mean, we could even pick up a big bean. That was possible, but we can't move a shelf. Guess we can't go treasure hunting yet. Okay, um... I would say we end this here again. So thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this part as well. We didn't do that much. But um, we have a bit of sword now, which is great. And yeah, next part we, we look around a bit more, get some treasures, I think. And maybe we make our way to the next area. So yeah, see you then. Bye bye. And oh yeah, like, subscribe, comment if you have anything funny to say. I always love your comments. And yeah, okay, no for real. Goodbye. <laughs>